Yeah, eh, hey, that's, that's Shema. I think you will like the next one also. La. I'm very sure I will like all the red ones. I don't have a dream wedding dress to be honest I don't fantasize about my wedding when I was young so when I started looking for like wedding dresses to have I didn't know where to start so I just started random googling around looking at singaporebrides.com also just shortlisting the photographers that I kind of want to engage for my actual day and they would have a list of preferred like bridal vendors as well so through those sources, I found this couple of bridal studios that um, I visited. So as you can already tell, the first one is Queen of Hearts. It might be a surprise um, to you, like, like how it shocked me when I first stumbled upon that place. But it's a private residence, it's not a shop house, it's definitely not a store. Uh, but it's all, all good, all nice, it was pretty cosy. Eugene and I, we went there at night after dinner. The person was very nice assisting us. They do have quite uh, a limited collection of wedding dresses compared to the other studios I've visited, but it's all good. I've tried on so many gowns, I've lost count that day how many I actually tried on. I told her that I wanted something more A-line, but Queen of Hearts didn't have a lot of A-line dresses. So she made me try a lot of mermaid, trumpet and then there were some that were a combination of like a-line and mermaid as well but the reason why i wanted a-line in the first place right is because i feel like i might be vertically challenged and i have pretty wide hips i was hoping um a-line can give a bit more length to the bottom part of my body and hopefully i'll just look like taller overall but anywho they didn't have much a-line so i tried a lot of mermaid and trumpets there but one thing though when i questioned them about the alteration of the dresses they did mention that they cannot alter some of the um, dresses length which again is a huge issue for me because I just said I'm vertically challenged so if there's any dress that's too long mm, 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 like no really it cannot work for me so yeah just go ahead try if you are looking for your bridal gowns as well definitely have queen of hearts in your consideration list the prices are so affordable it's, it's seriously great you will definitely have a blast so yes this is queen of hearts for you guys It's not too big. Yeah. I think it's 50. Yeah, this is 50. Yeah, the 150% natural diamond price. price. Yeah. Okay. Mozanet is 110 diamond price. Oh. <laughs> we can look at natural diamond. Mm. Natural diamond setting for her. Can, can, can. Yeah. yeah. The one of our we have the most. Yeah. Since I'm everywhere. It looks too big, no? I mean, so the new green. No, I think it's fine. Honestly, almost all of the dresses that I've tried at Brightfully Yours, they seriously snatch a very special place in my heart. I also shortlisted a lot of photos from their website um, so they know the exact dresses that I would like to try on. I didn't try on as many dresses in Brightfully Yours compared to Queen of Hearts, but still everything that Charmaine got for me that day was just spot on. I really love them. A-line mermaid or not, even the evening dresses, I love them all. They have new collections coming, so I'm waiting for that to come uh, before I make my final final decision. But from that gown fitting session, I have already shortlisted one, and definitely that dress is not in this video, just in case it happens to be the actual day dress. So yeah, I absolutely love 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 the evening gowns. The blue was. The blue evening gown was so gorgeous. I initially wanted it in red, 
they didn't have it that day so they let me try the blue to just see how that fits with my overall body type but yeah that's brightfully yours so i just tried my gown at brightfully yours and i think we both like almost all of it we'll show you the ones we reject here but the extra ones will keep it for the actual day <laughs> say something how much but not Last but not least, this is TGC. I visited the third studio TGC with my sister. I also watched many many YouTube videos and the brides are saying how the groom shouldn't be following them around for gown fitting only because it should ultimately be a surprise. So fine, here I am with my sister trying on TGC dresses. Very good quality. Shami knew exactly what I wanted for my dress, so every single piece, almost every single piece that she got for me, I just fell in love with all of them. If I have to compare the evening gowns um, between Brightfully Yours and TGC, I must say TGC kind of blew me away more. I, I'm not sure if it's because I only tried, like, was it two gowns? Two evening gowns in Brightfully Yours and then a bit more in TGC. But if you guys have an opinion, definitely please, please, please let me know. and 
queen of hearts rightfully yours is the priciest but i think based on market rate they are definitely more on the affordable side yeah so that's my experience uh i don't know if there will be a part two for wedding gown there might be when i when i have rightfully yours new collection coming in we'll see and you won't ever see my actual dress here so please stay tuned i will continue to record this entire journey and hopefully you get to see the final dress either in person if not through my videos anyway you will see it one way or another but thank you for watching goodbye